What do I do? Fix the can in first, get the junk out of here. Then we'll upgrade ours. Way better. Well, Tustin says she's the winch, boys. And I think it's a pain to get them in and out, so... We're bypassing that step. We'll tow them with our Polaris's. But I don't want to tow them everywhere, so we got to fix this belt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cramps the style. For sure. She's chooched. Oh, and she's glazed and chooched. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's right chunked right there. Uh, oh, yeah. That's what I'm swapping around with. On that side. <laughs> hey Chris, you don't have that out of here yet. It'll be out here in a second. It's like anything. Once you get used to popping plastics on a bike, it doesn't become that big of a deal, eh? No. But until like the first few times, it's like stupid fucking. Like I'm even getting not too bad about pulling them off on a K&M now because it's been a few times. I still curse a bit. It's and I'm dreading the player stuff. Phil knows how to pull everything off, so that helps. But uh, Cody said it's easy on the popos, the, like this version, the older school ones. But uh, me, I couldn't even tell you how to tear the bike apart. They say it's quick, but. Starting to get quite a few stickers on there. Yeah, on the old dust collection. Here, just, uh, gonna make, make your hands here. Use your shirt. Use, fuck that, it's brand new, bud. You're just jealous you don't got one of You got a nice little dirty life shirt on. You gotta live life dirty. <laughs> you just want that's my law shop the shop towel. Fucking air, eh? Them things aren't cheap, pal. <laughs> we gotta get them out of here. That's true, that's true. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get them out. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I think that tire's crooked right there. And I think when I got a rock in the rim, I think I bent an A-arm or something. Yeah, this is soft stuff, isn't it? Look at that. Look at this. Wow. What the hell? Sinking right into quicksand. Right into the gravel. It's like run. quicksand, eh? It though. That's low gear. Fuck, your tires are still grabbing, man. Oh, your back tires locked right the fuck up, dude. It ain't even, it ain't even turning when you go. Huh. Axle. Jam. I think she torqued her out. It's got a bit of a twist to it. It's not huge, but I mean, there's something there, I think. It's not lined up perfect on the fenders, so. And it was a little bit hard to put the air arm in when we uh, got into the belt cover for a spring, so. Oh. Oh, yeah. Dirty life mod. Dirty life mod. Dirty life mod. You know, like, I use alcohol and everything else, put the stickers under mine, but they all fly off. It's just, like, the superior, like, traction and stuff flying up in my fenders. It just peels them off. Well, it's probably the bullshit you're slipping in. It could be. It could be. You can grease your bike real quick. We can fill a hot coffee. As long as we're not looking at it, I think we'll be all right. Want to go for a coffee? You can have one when you get that out. Until then. <laughs> Yeah, Cody, your truck looks sorry. Ain't no rebel, but it's okay. Still orange. Everybody got an orange one. Look at these damn things. Orange ones. Everybody got an orange one. Think you can make it over that board? Hey, you tell the camera the only reason you went and got a lot of new ones because you couldn't beat that orange one? Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> I should have thrown the big tune in it. Well, I can pull mine in while that door is open. Smart ass. You only got me by a truck with not the big tune in there. 
I was pulling on him at the top of my gears. I could pull on him, but not as much as he was pulling on me with the eight speed. Shine down, but <laughs> you want to check your axle angles? Lift right up on it, grab that finder right there. I'm pretty sure one's 29 and one's 27 or something. 25. Yeah, hold on. So let it hang. Here, take the camera. See if you can get a zoom on it. 26. I'll lift right up on it. There's a pull. Yeah, it's got her. 26. And now which one's in that one? A high lifter one? High lifter two inch. Yep, yeah, same as mine. You wanna check the backs? Yeah, 29. Yep, the rears actually are more, but it doesn't look like it when you're looking at it. Eh? No, it always no. looks like the fronts are way more. But uh, those are ridiculously good angles. Yeah. Like my Grizzly, I think, was straight up to the 45. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they were, uh, you had to force the A-arm down to get the axle in. Yeah, these ones you don't. Yeah, it's, it's nice, eh? Like the, that amount of angle on an axle is yeah. really... I don't think, I don't know everything about the axle angles or whatever, but like, that's not bad. No, it's not Like bad you're not even hitting 30, you know? So boys, we're gonna do a little pinion plate. These newer ones, we both got 18s. I think ours are 18s, right? Yes. So they both have basically the diff fix in them factory with the steel bracket. And his was loose due to hard riding and uh, mine blew the main bearing right in half so there it is the new ones and the ones that come on the bike factory have a needle bearing and then the main bearing sits right up in the cover right up in here so it's double bearing so we're gonna try it the aftermarket fix versus Polaris's fix and uh, they come from custom moto quad and they're Canadian so we're trying them out and the machining on them is just awesome I don't know if it'll pick up in camera but the tooling marks are just awesome I'm thinking they're aluminum but I'm thinking they're actually a little bit more meatier from side to side because they do say in the instructions to uh, pop the diff bolts to give you the extra little bit and I know with the steel one you can technically get the shaft out of the pinion plate without taking bolts out of the diff so I think the billet aluminum versus the steel actually has a little longer shank on it which might help for flex anyways we're gonna find out and get back to you in a little bit here alright we got the roll pin out it wasn't too bad, you just need the right punch. And uh, we're dropping the diff fluid. And uh, it's not too bad, it's got just the, the fine bit of particle to it, which is to be expected, riding them hard. And it's still a fairly new bike, so. 2,000 clicks. Yeah, 2,000. Twice as much as mine. So, how'd she see then? Belt's good? Yep. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. the diff to put that other one in or not but oh yeah that's what done those axes that day <laughs> oh, up. really wow <laughs> crazy that was the day you got the rock in there yeah yeah and there's uh, one that's different right yeah one short one you know ATV should be able to get a damn fuel sponsorship Preferably Milwaukee. Just like that, boys. And just and like that. 
This looks good. Looks real nice. Fuck yeah. I didn't know what they look like in tacked in one piece. It's got a little bit of wear. A little bit of pinning. Well, just a bit of sharpness oh, on that side. Yep. That's got to be your reverse side. It's on your forward side. Yeah. She's not as bad. She's a little smaller. Got a little bit. Yeah, just a touch. Not bad. Well, you'll be able to compare it to mine after one ride. Because that's all I did on mine. One ride. She's new. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's good. That's good. Okay. So this O-ring... I'll have to peel that out. That's got to be reused into the new one. Okay. You want me to see if I got... Uh, oh, geez, it does just slide right apart. Bearings pressed right on there, eh? Yep. Leave it a little bit moist, Phil. And we should save these. Huh? Just in case we, we uh, blow a seal or something on one and find any... You know what I mean? Yeah. We got these ones to stab back in while we wait. Like it's, you know what I mean? It's not nice. Like, no. You know, it's they're brittle. Yeah, for sure. That or maybe it doesn't have just a tad of flex. That's a new cover. But I blew that bearing. Like I broke the bearing, but maybe the bearing went bad and then blew itself up and chewed yeah. up. But they say sometimes, I think uh, a couple guys told me that the cause of it sometimes is the seal going. So you get a little water, turns to ice, and you know what I mean, in around your bearing a bit. Yeah. And it could be hard on them. Because I blew that bearing right there in two. Here we go. Some kind of sound. I'm about to break! What's going on here? Break. Something great. Not bad for 2,000 clicks though. She's holding. Yes, yeah, nice. But caught mine at the right time. My bearing had to play in. Yes, you did catch yours at the right time. Hey, they're not even. Uh... Hey, they're not even pressed on. No, it slides right over, right? Fucking snap ring. Oh, yeah. We're gonna keep an eye on these. Yep. We're testing these. Keep an eye on this bearing. Yep. Well, I kept an eye on mine. Yeah, maybe I my eye start pulling. Well, my eye my year. eye was crooked. <laughs> Yours was weird though. Yes. It was a bit of a weird breakage. No play before the ride and I blew her. Four wheel drive, wheelies. No good in the snow. I Look at test. And that one gets the short bolt. Yes. The one side that's yep. snubbed out of it. Need my uh, screws over there. Hey, uh, Phil. Yep. Hold that one up versus the other one. I want to see them side by side, height wise comparison to see if one is actually truly higher than the other. Right? Right here is a perfect spot. We have a machine flat surface. And. Yep, it's just a tad higher, and not much, just a tad. Yeah. So we might actually have to crack the diff bolts to get that extra little bit of slack. I'm gonna test fit it. Does that bearing, let me see the difference here. No, seal, uh, looks like, is this bearing a little farther back? Oh, look at the size of the needles in there. Yeah, they're much bigger. The needles bearings are well, at least twice the size by the looks of it. Yeah, it's more heavier, for sure. Yeah, it's a twice the size of a needle. So the spline and the needle on this one is about the same size. Where that one, the spline's bigger and the needle's smaller. Unless the needles are buried in further. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. And they could be, but Let we're going to find it. out. Almost looks like it's got a little bit more meat here too. Yeah, yeah it does. It's, it's like it goes. Tell. It yeah, it does. It's, it's like it goes meat. a little farther in the diff. Yep. Because this part here is what holds your bearing. Yep. And if this piece flexes, it takes the bearing out. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Well, let's test her out. We're gonna see. I'm gonna test fit this. 
if we're gonna have to unbolt this diff. No way. Don't need to unbolt. Well, boys, they come in black. And I like black. Get back here once we get this wrapped up. This one's done. It only took, like, what? How long did that take? 15 minutes. You think? Well, I guess jacking it up. We got a rickety old jack, but we already yeah. dropped the fluid. So we just got to throw fluid in it. Actual throw the friggin' tire back on. Actual working time, probably, like, 15 minutes. And we'll probably be another 5 or 10 here. So, yeah, half hour. Half hour diff fixed. And hopefully they hold up. We're going to keep an eye on them. All right. We got mine out. I feel them bad boys. Ooh, they're sharp, sharp. They cut you. Yeah. That's brand spanking new, boys. You can tell. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna save that part because we might have to stab her back in just in case the needle you're bearings uh, get wore. You're over. You must stay inside the diff. Okay. I'll get it out. I'm going to shut this off, boys, because we're almost out of battery. I'll switch the battery here, and I'll get back to the A-arm discussion. What was that, taking more time in the shop than a K&M? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't want to turn the camera on for this part here. Figured out Troy's problem. Now I'm broken. Yeah, get a video of that. Oh. Yeah, good choice. That's what it's been. I guess I sent it. I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? All right, check them out. So the upper one is bent. Bottom one's bent. That one's bent. Now, not to say that like, I did build the bench, so it's probably pretty, pretty, pretty close. <laughs> Ran it through a planer 18 million times. No. All right, boys. So I know this one ain't too bad. We gotta talk to Bonners, Blairs, and uh, it ain't too bad at all. Now, the upper one, I'll find out tomorrow how much that sucker's worth, but it's just stamp metal. And she real bent. So. Yeah, we already done the other one. Yeah, I twisted her. But the frame held, so that's yeah, good. Cause your good. stuff all slipped in, nice and silky. Tires line up nice. Everything's good. And I'm quite confident it was that rock in that pile there that day. I quite, I am pretty sure when it broke the rim, it bent. You still got the bend in the bottom of the A arm where it, it grabbed the rock. That's just shit luck. What time? What does that time say? What does that time say, Troy? Five twenty. Five twenty. And you're bitching about fucking KM time on the shop and it's five fucking twenty at night here. Yeah, but we we well, up, da, da, we upgraded spent all day on the KM. Yeah, we spent just all day saying, on the KM. I'm saying I got kicked out of the shop within an hour and it's five twenty at night here. Well I know, but we upgraded ours thirty minutes apiece, and then this is just trial and tribulations. It, we still spent less time than him. No. no. Yeah, we did. No. No. Two place. We came yeah. here at noon. I was out of the shop by one thirty. We started on yours before you got here, Mr. Rubber Tire Man. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> All right? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, let's just find another. I wouldn't ever say nothing. Just put two it on me. Yeah, that's, that's two bikes. <laughs> I still think if we were putting a stopwatch on it, ours was quicker. Yeah, but ours was upgrades, not broken parts. <laughs> well, this is I, fucking broken. <laughs> they're not broken. Not they're true. tweaked. <laughs> I can, tweaked it. Can you jump on this bitch and ride her down the road right now? I'll slap them tweaked ones back in, man, because I've been riding yeah. like that so this last four or five rides. Hey, right there. You can't swear. Peer performance. Peer, peer performance right there. I know you're jealous. What? I put that on for you. You put, you, a little you put Phil's mitts on. You put my coat on to go ride your Can-Am. I know you were envisioned you were on a Polaris. I was out there. Oh, yeah. This is what it's like. I'm halfway there. I feel I'm it. I'm surprised you even need a Oh, coat yeah. Hey, guaranteed. That's what he was thinking. Yeah. No. 
felt like a I real boy. To, I would have to half throttle it to make it feel. No, like you felt like a real boy for a minute, didn't <laughs> you? No, no, ah, no, no. my coat, his gloves, half, real boy. Half throttle. All right, that's enough for the day. I guess we'll order some parts. And uh, to be honest with you, not bad price on the parts, really. I don't know what the upper one is, but I know the lower one. That that well, ain't gonna kill more me. More material on that than that, so you should have. You never know, I don't boys. Buy. You never know. What's about time? I used to have wall of or uh, Yamaha parts and old twisted off stuff. I think I still have some. I got Ian's garage full of twisted Yamaha parts. I do. Yeah. And I uh, might as well have a couple uh, twisted tweaked, twisty tweaks. There's a twisted tweak T over there if you want. All right. All right. That's it for tonight, boys.